Hello everyone. Huh? Good morning? Good evening. Is it? This is the Trepi's channel. This is Shinjuku station on the JR East Japan line. The busiest station in Tokyo in Japan. Today's ride is from Shinjuku station on the Odakyu line. Yes. Today we will look at the Odakyu line. The Odakyu line connects Shinjuku in Tokyo to Odawara and Anishima in Kanagawa prefecture. First of all, the newest romance car. GSE stands for Graceful Super Express. The music horn has sounded. The romance car is coming. It's got observation seats. So if we can get a seat, it'll be a fun trip. We treppies would love to ride in the front of the train someday. Next up is the 60,000 MSE. It stands for Multi Super Express. It can also go on the subway. And it also runs on JR Tokai's Gotemba line. It's called Limited Express Romance Car Mount Fuji. This time it's a 30,000 type. This one is called X, which stands for Excellent Express. This is a car without an observation car. The driver's seat is in the front, so it doesn't take long for the driver to change. The wheels are arranged in the same way as those of a regular train, which makes it a long train. And now that we can accommodate more passengers, it's easier for people going to work at the office to use the train. This is the same 30,000 type, but a renewed X-Alpha. There is now a place to put large luggage, which is very convenient. This is the 50,000 type. We call it BSE for Vault Super Express. Nice looking white. This train has an observation car so you can enjoy the view in front. This train is newer than the 30,000X, but it will be retired in March 2022. The reason why this train is retiring is because the machine used in this train is more difficult to make than normal trains, so it is very hard to replace it. Also, the body of the train is difficult to make, so it is very hard to fix. Because they can't fix it, the train can't run anymore. It's a shame, because it's really cool. It looks like they will be appearing at events for a while, but by the fall of 2023, we won't be able to see them running anymore. We Treppy channel were able to sit in the second row from the front. 
second row meant our view was a little limited, but we were lucky to get in. I don't think I'll ever get to ride the VSE again, but I'd love to ride in the front of the GSE someday. Next is a commuter train. This is a 5000 type train, with a pointy nose. This train debuted in 2020. This train was built to replace the 1000 and 8000 models. I wonder if there will be more and more of this type of train in the future. Security cameras have been installed on this train to make it safer to ride. Also, air purifiers have been installed to keep the air inside the train clean. This is the interior of the 5000 type. The brightly colored seats are very comfortable. The destination display is also easy to understand. This is the first car of the 5000 type. We're going from Shinjuku to Minami Shinjuku. The driver's pointing confirmation is cool. This is the 4000 model. It has an emergency door on the front of the car so that it can be used on the Tokyo Metro's Chiyoda line. This train is almost the same as JR East Japan's E233 series. The face is blue and looks cute. This black face is the 3000 type. Odakyu has the largest number of commuter trains with 312 cars. They were built to replace the old Odakyu 2600s and the old 4000s, 5000s and 9000s. This train is called standard type which means that it was designed to be a normal train. 
In this sense, the 1000 and the 2000 are a little bit different. Next is the 2000 type, which looks very similar to the 1000 type. When you look at this train from the side, the size of the door is a little bit big. The normal doors are 1.3 meters wide, but this train has doors that are 1.6 meters wide. It's nice that it's wide and easy to get on and off. The doors on the 1000s were 2 meters wide, which made it very easy to get on and off, but it wasn't so good because more people had to wait in front of the doors. So the doors of the 2000 model are 1.6 meters wide, which is a little narrower than the doors of the JR model. Still, it is wider than the doors of ordinary JR trains. And here is a 1000 type train, which looks almost the same as a 2000 type train. This is the 8000 type, which has been running since 1987, so it has been running for about 40 years. This train was designed to run on both Hakone Tozen Railway and Chiyoda Line. It's made to be convenient to use. Since it has been in service for quite a few years, some of the cars have been replaced with newer 5000 type cars. The rest have been renewed and are now running with the same equipment as the 3000 and 4000 models. Here's a shot of the Umegaoka station area. There are four tracks. This is a double track, which means there are two tracks going in the same direction, one for each station, and the other for express and romance cars. The 5000 in front of me has to stop at the next Goto Uji station, so it's slowing down. There's a train coming from in front of us. It's a Chiyoda line train. It's a 16,000 series. It must have come out from Kyoto Station. Another train from the front. It's a 3000.
The next one is also a 3000 series. Running on a different track than before. Is it a local train? This time it's a romance car. It's the X-Alpha. More trains are coming. What's next? There's a 3000 type stopping at the station. This is a train for each station. The train on this side of the track is a 2000 class. The double track is very efficient because it allows trains to run without having to worry about the stop trains. The trains on the local trains don't have to wait for the express trains and romance cars to pass by, so they can go faster. We got off at Noburito Station and came to Tamagawa. It only takes about 5 minutes from the station to the river. It's nice to be able to play while watching the trains running by, isn't it?
There were people fishing, playing ball, and flying kites in the river. Sounds like fun. The Odakyu line is also served by trains from the Tokyo Metro Chiyoda line. Today, I was able to capture a 16,000 series train and an E233 series train. Isn't the E233 series AJ, R East Japan train? Yes, they are. Actually, the Chiyoda line is connected to the Jobin line of J, R East which goes as far as Abiko in Chiba Prefecture and Toride in Ibaraki Prefecture. Hey everyone, did you enjoy today's video? If you enjoyed it, please subscribe to the channel by clicking on the subscribe button in the red section below. You'll be able to watch new videos as soon as they're made. Thank you for your support. I'll see you in the next video. See you soon.